jungle of concrete with a complex ecosystem. Home for many creatures, some we see every day, like the pigeons who are just everywhere. Or the salespeople who sneak up on you when you are just browsing. But some of the urban beings are so well hidden, you have to intentionally look for them. Like the UPS delivery guy who always mysteriously vanishes before you manage to answer the doorbell. There are also creatures so rare that most of us are unaware of their existence. Creatures you might only see once in your lifetime without realizing what it was. To see one of them, we have come here to the small German city of Saarbrücken. It is the home of a creature rarer than sex in marriage, good weather in London, and a good unity demo combined. This rare creature, of course, being the Saarbrücken bus. This critter once used to roam the lands in large herds, but lately its numbers have dwindled. Nowadays, the bus enthusiasts have to wait for hours to just get a glimpse of this rare beast in its natural habitat. What happened? Why is the Saarbrücken bus population so greatly endangered compared to other cities? To find out, we met up with a world-renowned bus species study and conservation expert, Amelia Aberdeen. If we are to discuss how buses in a specific town are this close to going extinct, we first have to think about how this particular bus population is different from the bus population of other towns. It is evident that the buses in Berlin or in Frankfurt, for example, are nowhere near going extinct. You couldn't really guess from their size and speed, but buses are really very careful and delicate creatures, especially so around their very short mating season, which lasts for a few days around Easter time. Most German cities and towns have established long public holidays around Easter time, closing shopping centers and tourist attractions so that the local buses can have the much, much needed time for themselves. The same practice used to be in place in Saarbrücken as well, and it was working efficiently. At least so until the year 2011, although the public holiday stayed in place and the sites and malls stayed closed, people came to roam the street, blasting weird chiptune music and scaring the shy creatures, so much so that very few offsprings were born. There has been a number of EU-funded projects to raise awareness of the declining numbers of the Saarbrücken bus. For example, the Chair of Conservation and Rescue of Endangered Species here at the University is holding an endangered bus summer school each August to tell children the story of the Saarbrücken bus. Another great example is various film projects introducing the issue on a much wider scale and warning other countries of dangers of potential bus extinctions, providing the Saarbrücken bus as a grim example. So what will become of the Saarbrücken bus? Will it reclaim the lands it once proudly ruled? Or will it vanish from our collective memories, just like the boy bands from the 90s? Will any of the projects be successful? Or will they just slam together a crappy movie and use the rest of the EU money to buy hookers? Just like we did. Or will someone actually do something useful with the money? It is hard to say, but one thing is certain. You will never get back the time you spent watching this film. <laughs>